We need to save Bessie. And we need low-carb tortillas. And to make low-carb tortillas, he begins with almond flour. Although this version is gluten-free, do not attempt to substitute the almond flour for coconut flour. Coconut flour is extremely absorbent, and it simply will not work. Once the dry ingredients are combined, he uses the Jason method to evenly distribute them and help them become well acquainted. Then it's set aside in place for a large bowl. He adds 50 milliliters of dihydrogen monoxide and then requires a large, heavy egg. Oh, how he misses chicken. It's been a while and he hopes they can meet again someday. But for now, we must continue onwards. The egg is added to the bowl and using a tiny whisk with the banana for scale, he whisks the egg with the water to make a pre-chicken soup. One could also use a four-prong spear in the absence of a whisk. However, never skip this step as it is crucial to ensure the easy mixing for what follows when he adds his dry ingredients. Using a silicone spatula, he meekly moves the ingredients around until the wet ingredients are absorbed. Then, using his best tools, his dirty hands, he mixes and kneads the dough until it becomes consistent. After, he poorly shapes it into a sphere and places it back into the bowl. This is set aside to rest for at least 15 minutes. So the reason we have to let these tortillas sit for at least 15 minutes is we have to let the xanthan gum do its thing. The mark of a good tortilla is one that's pliable and holds liquids pretty well. And there's a lot of really good pre-made tortillas on the market, but nothing beats a fresh, warm tortilla. <laughs> When he returns, he searches for his tortilla press. However, it is nowhere to be found. And so he must use a more archaic tool, the rolling pin. In an emergency, one could also use a wine bottle or a fire extinguisher. The dough is dropped into the cutting board like Operation Dumbo Drop. Using a bench scraper, he cuts the dough in half, and then half again. The four pieces are rolled into balls and set aside. With a piece of parchment paper, he places a single ball in the center covers it and gives it a small flattening. Then rolling from the middle outwards while rotating the parchment paper sandwich, he flattens the dough to a very thin disc. With the motion of a large sticker, he peels the tortilla from the paper. The raw tortilla is placed with the others and to the stovetop they go. Over a hot flame, he places his cast iron cooker or a nonstick pan. When the pan is hot, he lays the tortilla away from him so that it lays flat. The tortilla will cook and begin to change colors from tan to white. Once most of the top is white, anywhere between 40 to 60 seconds, he flips it and lets it cook for 5 to 6 seconds. Any longer, and the tortilla will no longer be pliable. Although only one side will attain the traditional charring, it's a trade-off we must accept to consume these in low-carb fashion. Something missing. Tuco. Amigo, we need to save Bessie, and we need low-carb tortillas. And I know how to make them. And I, yours truly, no se secreto. Tuco has traveled the world in search for the perfect tortilla. From dive bars to coconut wraps in gardens and cardboard tortillas at crappy beach bars. Yet the best was at a hipster cafe in downtown. And that is where you discovered the secret. El secreto. Boop. Gluten. But not too much. Of course. Where's Bessie? Do friend has her. Let's get cooking. So, the race to make the tortillas and the quest to save Bessie begins. Much like before, he adds almond flour, albeit less this time. The great binder xanthan and... Baking powder. Baking powder, salt, and the secret ingredient, ready gluten. And then, he cleats. Because, ants. The ingredients mix to join forces and make way for the great bowl which houses the shape of worlds and the creator of icebergs, water. The cell that creates life and together with the sand, they make the mud of tortillas. Mixed with the spatula that can withstand the heat of a thousand suns, he bears the glove of mixing and with it, he kneads and shapes this new life, the shape of a non-perfect sphere. Then he sets it to rest, because it needs to develop and creating tortillas is timely work. No, amigo. For this, we need la tortilla press. You mean this press? Let her go, amigo. She has nothing to do with this. You think I'd let you two fools just show everyone how to make a low-carb tortilla recipe? The flour company doesn't pay me for that, all right? It appears we have ourselves a little conundrum here. I'll make you a deal. You two don't tell anyone this low-carb recipe and your little cow walks free.
So I guess we're doing this the hard way. brings a knife to a gunfight. Someone who doesn't need one. And so with Bessie safe, we can now make celebratory tortillas. The ball is set on the cutting board and cut into quarters, each rolled into a ball of its own and set aside. Then for the very tortilla press, he cuts a piece of parchment paper to size. This perfectly sized portion will make it incredibly easy to make the tortillas. A ball is placed in the center, covered and slightly pressed to begin the process. The hinge is engaged and the press is, well, pressed. The press is disengaged and the tortilla is flipped. Although not standard procedure for a normal tortilla, these are not normal. He will press his tortilla four times, once at each 90 degree angle. And so he rotates and flips until all four sides are pressed. This yields an evenly flat tortilla that will cook evenly and provide the best experience to its consumer. The paper sandwich is open and the tortilla is peeled from the parchment, set with the others that is now time to cook them. Much like before, the tortillas are placed over his hot cast iron griddle. Each will cook between 45 seconds to a minute before the great flip. And once flipped, cook for 6 to 10 seconds, depending on the heat of your pan. Unfortunately, these will also not draw like traditional tortillas unless you want charcoal. And that's how you make a perfectly wonderful low-carb and keto-friendly tortilla. Perfectly pileable, with no trickery or magic involved. And most importantly, tasty to boot. What did you say when you had tortillas? I was hungry. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and check out these other videos. Like this Weller Company cocktail, and of course, a meat for your taco. Much thanks to my Patreon supporters for their continued support of the channel, and until next time, eat well. I know how to make them. I know how to make them. I know how to make them. I know how to make them.